That's an up-close look at a rabbit fox found in Fairhope, a neighborhood there just this morning. It actually bit the wildlife trapper who caught it. That makes four rabbit fox attacks on the eastern shore in just the last few weeks. Hi there, everyone. I'm Lenny Slagon. And I'm Bob Grip. Alexa Knowles, talk to the guy who caught the fox. Alexa, he's okay. Is that right? He is Bob and Lanise. The fox only bit him on his boot, but he says it's still one of the most aggressive animals he's ever dealt with. Now, folks around here are back on high alert. <coughs> what a way for wildlife expert Mike Niemeyer to start his day. Yeah, I didn't need my morning coffee. Uh, it, it woke me up. This rabid fox putting up a fight this morning just seconds after Niemeyer pried the animal off of his boot. Darted out, locked onto my foot. And uh, instinct kicked in from there. I just basically reached down and grabbed it by the neck and, and strangled it till it let go. The fox had just jumped out of that hole in the fence. Niemeyer yeah. thought he was yeah. looking yeah. for a coyote yeah. after a call came in about a growling animal on the porch of a home in the 700 block of Fairhope Avenue. Instead, it was a rabid fox, one of at least three that have attacked someone in the past month on the eastern shore. A few weeks ago, a man was bitten in his yard in Spanish Fort Estates. Then days later, a dog was also bitten by a fox in the same neighborhood. And just before that, two people were attacked by the same fox on the Rock Creek Golf Course in Fairhope, not far from where this latest one happened. And turns out, this fox wasn't the only one Niemeyer would capture today. He got this little guy too, something he's been having to do a lot more lately. It's a whole lot. Uh, you know, I've been doing this for almost a decade now. Uh, you know, we get maybe three or four nuisance calls a year that, that turn into jobs for fox removal. Since about a week before the last attacks, we've done 10 jobs or nine or 10 jobs, I would say, on, on fox removals. And the fox in Spanish Fort Estates was never caught. Wildlife experts tell me the best thing you can do right now is not put your pet's food outside. They say it attracts wild animals and it can also spread diseases. And if you haven't already vaccinated your pets, now is a great time to do that. Reporting live in Fairhope, Alexa Knowles, Fox 10 News.